Chapter 13! What's going on guys, the Inhuman P10, I'm back with more Arabian Dreams. So, last time we got the lowdown from the old man who was his uncle, turns out he was actually just a douchebag. Uh, so now we're speeding off to a kingdom that apparently wanted all the treasures and is possibly going to attack the kingdom. You know, fun stuff. So, I cling tightly to Aladdin atop the carpet as we fly full speed ahead for the Bara Il Kingdom. Still don't know how you pronounce that. This is so dangerous. A single jolt could send me flying. Shara, uh, that kind of hurts. Could you ease up a bit? I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Ow! I can feel his arm trembling as I cling to it. He's laughing at me. We're in all this danger. How can he be so calm? Relax, Shara. We're safe here. Indeed, worry not. Vafa pops out of the lamp with a grin. Actually, why isn't the lamp flying off? It's just sitting there with nothing holding it in place. Flying carpets are designed to not drop riders. You don't feel much wind, right? Now that you mention it... Even if you did fall off on your own, the carpet would catch you. Probably take you a while to hit the bottom. We could make it down there. But you two look so cute snuggling together. Maybe should I... <laughs> Maybe I should have kept that to myself. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> I feel indecisive. I cling more tightly, trying to hide my face. Shara, too tight! <laughs> Aladdin blushes. Sorry. Don't worry, just hold on. I won't let you go either. Aladdin's still facing forward, but I can see his ears turning red. <laughs> what a regular pair of lovebirds you are. <laughs> lovebirds! Lovebirds! <laughs> Stop talking like that! The carpet slices through the night sky on its way to the Barrio Kingdom. Eventually, we see lights up ahead. That must be Barrio. The magician nods in sullen silence. I still don't see Mustafa. I still don't sense Mustafa's presence. I knew there was a field in place, but really. <laughs> don't underestimate our fields, says the man who couldn't even set foot in mine. So what now? Security should be lighter at night, but we're kind of a big group. Once that field is gone, I can join you. A concealment spell would be a snap. Wow, that'd be a huge help. A trifle, really? Now to spell the field, you cut-rate magician. Ugh. The magician looks like this might as well be the end of the world for him, but he mutters an incantation anyway. Ah! The stairway into the dungeon is dank and damp, and I can hear water dripping from somewhere. How awful. Anyone would get sick living down here. I know, like, that was Shara. Oops. <laughs> well, there's only way I can properly respond with this. And my dad was stuck down here. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do that over again. Hang on. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Here we... <laughs> How awful. Anyone would get sick living down here. And my dad was stuck here. There we go. Fixed it. I sense Mustafa this way, the furthest area in the back. Dad! Aladdin runs without any regard for the noise he's making. Mustafa! That's my dad? We find a figure sleeping in the rearmost cell. He's clad head to foot in dirty rags. When we rattle the iron bars, he makes no response. Hold on. Here. Vafa bends the iron bars without even using magic. Aladdin dives in through the gap. Dad! He runs up to the figure and shakes it. I peer at his face. He has long, ragged hair and a grunt, gaunt face. He looks so haggard, I can't even muster my voice. Dad, that's you, right? Dad! Aladdin shakes him more. His eyes finally flicker, weakly open. Uh... 
Yes, I'm Aladdin, your son! Oh. Oh. Mustafa lifts a trembling hand weakly to touch Aladdin's face. What a wonderful thing for a last sight. Oh, God. Hang in there, Dad. Mom's waiting for you at home. Mustafa's hand goes limp. Dad? Dad! Vafa pushes Aladdin out of the way and lifts Mustafa in his arms. He still draws breath. Aladdin, make a wish. Ushini, memariu. Huh? Just then, we hear several sets of footsteps rushing from upstairs. Someone's coming. Aladdin, wish for me to save Mustafa. And quickly. Raising the dead is beyond my power. Aladdin. Aladdin blinks, startle, uh, startled back to reality. Vafa. Yes. For my second wish, please save my dad. As you command, master. Vafa gives off a brilliant glow that makes our surroundings go white. <laughs> Where are we? The next thing I know, we're on the flying carpet. Your wish is granted. I have saved Mustafa from both deadly illness and rushing guards. How convenient. Thank you, Vafa. Dad. His father is sitting there, dumbfounded. Aladdin rushes to him. His father can't catch him properly. The two of them go bowling over. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I was just so happy. Aladdin throws his arms around his father and helps helps to sit him up. Vafa throws a little vial at Aladdin. Feed him this. It's a supplemental nourishing, nut nourishing nutritious, energy-increasing drink. Jesus Christ. How many adjectives did that thing need? I think that might knock him out for a different reason. <laughs> sure enough, his father gags heavily. You okay there? Yeah, I'm good. Goodness, how you've grown, Aladdin. You're bigger than I am now. Oh, Dad. I am sorry I couldn't be there to watch you grow, but I am glad we can meet again at all. Dad. They embrace tightly. I feel all warm inside at the sight of, our, of their joy. I'm so happy for Aladdin. The touching reunion reminds me of my parents back at the palace. I wonder if father's okay, or if mother is worried about me. It's still only been a matter of days since I left the palace, but it feels like so long ago. I have to report the matter of uh, Baro Kingdom to them, so that these wonderful parents and their children never get torn apart again. Child, whatever. I am the princess of Madan Ba. I can't spin tales solely for myself. But that would mean... Shara? Huh? Are you tired? No, just limp with relief. I'm happy for you, for you, Aladdin. It's so good to know your father will be safe. And who is this young lady? Your wife? <laughs> uh... Everybody bursts out laughing at Aladdin's panicked reaction. I feel a twinge of loneliness, though. If I return to the palace, I may never see Aladdin again. Freedom! Freedom! Ferris suddenly squawks. Aladdin smacks a fist into his hand. Oh yeah, Dad, this is Vafa, Jinn of the Lamp. Aladdin waves over the Jinn, who has been sitting si uh, quietly by his lamp. Vafa, my friend! For goodness sake, don't vanish on people like that. You worried us. You used your power to save me. Thank you. Thank Aladdin. Aren't you glad your son grew into someone capable of entering my barrier? Yes, indeed. Freedom! Freedom! Rock! Oh, right. Dad, you don't mind if we free Vafa from the lamp, right? Oh, of course. I got arrested and that meant I never kept my promise, did I? 
Are you sure about this? One wish, and you could live in luxury beyond imagination. Who needs that? Aladdin looks at his father, then at me. I'm happy enough having everyone important to me here with me. Yes, as am I. In all my time watching humans, I've never seen any as selfless as the two of you. Here's my third wish. I wish for the Gen Vafa to be freed from the lamp. Very well. Vafa says in an awestruck tone, then he gets sucked back into the lamp. The lamp goes silent. I lean in curiously. Suddenly the lamp spout starts popping madly. Ack. Thick smoke pours out of the lamp and takes the form of a person. The lamp has lost its shimmer. Vava, Vafa stands next to it on the carpet, stretching luxuriously. I'm free. Free of the lamp! Vafa stomps, then skips, then starts twirling in place. Vafa, watch the carpet! I wobble and Aladdin supports me quietly. I'm free. Free to do all the sunbathing I could ever want. <laughs> I see you haven't changed. <laughs> Neat! Cool! Sunburnt again! Brock! That's right. I am cool. <laughs> cool, Jin! Good, Jin! Brock! <laughs> Whoa. Mind your vocabulary. I'm a cool... X Gen. X Gen. X Gen. Brock. That sounds like the fucking name of some villain from a sci fi movie. I'm X Gen. He doesn't seem much different than he was before you freed him. Yeah. Don't say that. He's lived hundreds of times longer than we have. Good point. My heart grows warm as I watch Vafa's joy. Hey, Aladdin? Yeah? I'm going back to the palace. I need to report to my father about Bara Il. Ba ba Bara 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 La Bara Bara Il. Bara Bara El. I don't I don't know how to pronounce that voice. Whatever. I share my intent with him quietly. Oh. Aladdin looks down and takes my hand. I'm a little worried if if I'll manage well and if I'll manage well enough when I get there, but I'll protect this country where all of you live. All the legs of my journey flit through my mind in vivid detail. But I've made up my mind. You'll do a fine job as a princess. Don't worry, it'll work out. Aladdin cradles my head against him. I lean into him, relaxing. I understand what you're doing. Let's just get back to my place for now. Mom's waiting for us. Sure. Oh yeah, I left Afrit's book and the feather plume from the treasure cave at Aladdin's house. We hurry back feeling equal parts joyous and lonely. Oh, Mustafa, it's really you. Sorry for making you worry all these years. Aladdin's mom who doesn't get a name, but apparently I do, but I equally don't get an image to depict myself. We've been back for a while now, but they're still reaffirming each other's safety. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. You've suffered long without me. I'm, I'm just gonna leave them be. I should leave them be. They deserve some family time. Good for you, Aladdin. You have a warm, wonderful family. I slip out and head off to pack. I go to Aladdin's room. Afrit's book is right where I left it. Afrit never even came back. The feather plume is sitting right next to it. I fled the palace to find myself a rook's feather. But I've had my hands so full just dealing with everything that's come up, I haven't had time to focus on that at all. 
I muttered myself, touching the book. The book flips open by itself, pages flapping. Uh... Ifrit? Ifrit appears. I warned you not to lose the book, and you abandoned it? You are nothing but trouble. He talked! You seem well enough, though. Like fun I am, taking me out of the palace and abandoning me is actually worse than kidnapping. <laughs> The climax is coming soon. I expect great things. Ifrit vanishes into the book without another word. Huh. I have no idea what he's even talking about. I slam the book shut. Then I remember what Ifrit told me when he left. If you're ever in a bind, open the book. It will always show you the way. I've been in nothing but binds this whole time. Did carrying around the book save me? Hey, can I save Madamba? Ifrit appears again. Only God knows that. What? What I can say is this. Are you certain you made no mistakes in your choices thus far? That is all. That's it? Ifrit vanishes again. Oh, uh, he's so self-centered. It was only a brief and confusing reunion, but I feel encouraged by it regardless. I heft the book firmly under my arm. Shara, what's wrong? Uh, this is awkward. I noticed Aladdin peeking through the cracked door. I thought I heard a voice in here. Nah, you're imagining it. No creepy man living inside of a book. I mean, we hung around with a dude who ha hung out in a lamp. Fair enough. I step out carrying the book and the plume. Leaving so soon, Shara? You'd be more than welcome to spend the night. I apologize, but I can't afford to take it slow at this point. Stop by again sometime and stay a while. Yes, ma'am, I will. I'm having a hard time working up the courage to leave. Suddenly, the flying carpets sail smoothly in. Allow me to be the driver. Thank you. Let's go! Let's go! Rock! Thank you so much for everything. No, thank you for all that you've done for us. Aladdin hops onto the carpet and holds out his hand. Come on. Right. Drive safely, Vafa. And Aladdin, no making girls cry. Yes, ma'am. I take Aladdin's hand and hop onto the flying carpet. Let's go. See you again. Take care. The carpet flies into the air and Aladdin's parents quickly fade into the background. I will protect Madame Ba. I look up and tell myself in determination while gazing in the direction the carpet is headed. Ooh, more true feelings. Speak to me, mystical words. What do you have to say? On the flying carpet, as he watches you think of your homeland. Dad's saved. Mom's all better. She made it all possible. I tried to thank her when she was next to me, but I choked on the words. Her eyes are misty. It's almost like she doesn't want to leave me. I wanted to hug her to tell her not to go back. I don't want to make this hard for her, but I just... Aw, isn't that sweet? Unfortunately, we'll get resolution. Well, we won't get solid resolution on that. But we are getting closer to resolution, so... More on that next time. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta.